you, you can't just show up to work and use tools. Students in this class soak up knowledge every day, learning about history, anatomy, and metallurgy. The first color that comes up in heat treating is straw. Scientific lectures are not what most people think of when they consider enrolling in the Kentucky Horseshoeing School. The steel is too hard. Before a student pounds a hammer, they have to hit the books. It's hard to do all the other things we do if you don't know the textbook side of it. But it's the hands-on part of the training that brings most students in the door. The lessons that lead to shaping metal into a perfect horseshoe. You gotta get that stuff back. It's as cool as it looks. There's proof that making horseshoes isn't easy when a student's horseshoe doesn't end up correct. It ends up here on the wall of shame. Like with everything else, practice makes perfect. Like I think making the mistakes is what make us like become really good. J.P. Jarman came from South Africa to learn to be a farrier. You can't lie about it because your works and your actions will show, your results will show if you put the time in or don't. It can be hard work and dangerous. Give him a break. He's asking nice. Some students are used to naysayers. But you're a girl. <laughs> you're so small. How do you how do you manage these large animals? It's more of a uh, communication thing. As long as they understand what you want, they're more than willing to be willing participants. This Madison County facility is approved by the Department of Education with a nine-month program tuition help, and on-site housing. That is not the same as that. Skilled right. farriers are in demand all over the country. We make pretty good, uh, pretty good income for our, for our families. It's hard on our bodies, so uh, you know a lot of farriers seem to feel that we only have so many horses in us, uh, so it's important that we work smart. It's not just about making shoes. The students spend a lot of time learning how to fit them on a horse perfectly and painlessly. We've got to somehow figure out how to take this rigid shoe that doesn't change and somehow marry it up to a foot that constantly grows and changes. Horseshoes are considered to be lucky, but it's not about luck here. It's hard work that gets you to the finish line. It all comes together, all the classroom, all the, the blood, sweat, and tears comes together and you can make a shoe and it fits the foot and you nail it up and that's, that's the poetry right there. In Madison County, Marvin Bartlett with the Spirit of the Bluegrass.